Kazuo Ishiguro, 2017 Nobel Prize in Literature, for someone who, in novels of great emotional force, has uncovered the abyss beneath our illusory sense of connection with the world. The Japanese-born English writer is a celebrated contemporary fiction writer. He has written eight books so far, most notably The Remains of the Day, 1989, Never Let Me Go, 2005, and The Buried Giant, 2015. Highlighting his style of writing, the Academy noted that it is marked by a carefully restrained mode of expression, independent of whatever events are taking place. Jock's Duplicate, Joachim Frank and Richard Henderson, 2017 Nobel Prize in Chemistry, for developing cryo-electron microscopy for the high-resolution structure determination of biomolecules in solution. Duplicate, left, Frank, Center, and Henderson develop a technique that allows studying the structure of biomolecules in high resolution, which is expected to bring about a revolution in the field of biochemistry. Prior to their research, it was believed that electron microscopes were fit for imaging only dead matter. Pictured, photos of the winners are seen on a screen as the announcement is made at the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences in Stockholm, Sweden, on October 4, 2017. Rainer Weiss, Barry C. Barish and Kip S. Thorne, 2017 Nobel Prize in Physics, for decisive contributions to the LIGO detector and the observation of gravitational waves. Originally predicted by Albert Einstein 100 years ago, gravitational waves were observed for the first time on September 14, 2015, at the LIGO Observatory in the US. They were produced after the collision of two black holes. Weiss, left, and Thorne, right, spearheaded the research while Barish brought it to completion after four decades of study. This landmark discovery may lead to a revolution in the field of astrophysics. Pictured, photos of the winners are seen on a screen as announcement is made at the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences on October 3, 2017. Jeffrey C. Hall, Michael Rosbash and Michael W. Young, 2017 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, for their discoveries of molecular mechanisms controlling the circadian rhythm. Working since the 1970s, Hall, Left, Rosbash, Center, and Young researched how the inner clock of a living organism is able to influence our behavior and physiology, which in turn is connected to the Earth's revolutions. It would open new fields of research, and raise awareness about the importance of getting proper sleep. Let's take a look at some of the most notable past winners across different categories. Bob Dylan, 2016 Nobel Prize in Literature, for having created new poetic expressions within the great American song tradition. Dylan became the first musician to win this accolade. Rooted in American folk music and influenced by modernist poets, his songs incorporate themes of social struggle, political activism, love and religion. A few of his hit singles, such as Blowing in the Wind and The Times They Are a Shine are used as anthems during the civil rights movement and anti-war movement. Malala Yousafzai and Kailash Satyarthi, 2014 Nobel Peace Prize for their struggle against the suppression of children and young people and for the right of all children to education. The activists of the Indian subcontinent work for the rights of children in their respective countries. While Satyarthi, Wright, and his organization Bachpan Bachao, Andalan fights against child labor in India, Pakistani campaigner Yousafzai is a leading advocate of girls' rights, particularly their education. Clive W. J. Granger and Robert F. Engel, 2003 Sveriges Riksbank Prize in Economic Sciences in memory of Alfred Nobel, one half awarded to Granger for methods of analyzing economic time series with common trends, coinigration, and one half to Engel for methods of analyzing economic time series with time varying volatility, Arch. Granger, left and Engel's research concern analyzing economic statistics of time series data. Their work essentially changed the way economists interpreted financial data and unpredictable movements. John Forbes Nash Jr., John Harsanyi and Reinhard Selton, 1994 Sveriges Riksbank Prize in Economic Sciences in memory of Alfred Nobel, for their pioneering analysis of equilibria in the theory of non-cooperative games. 
while game theorist Harsanyi laid the theoretical foundation in the economics of information, Nash J.R. pictured, introduced an equilibrium concept for non-cooperative games which came to be known as the Nash Equilibrium. Selton went on to refine the equilibrium concept by removing unlikely equilibria. Aung San Suu Kyi, 1991 Nobel Peace Prize, for her non-violent struggle for democracy and human rights. Inspired by Mahatma Gandhi, the Burmese leader started opposing the military junta rule in her country in the late 1980s. As one of the founders of the National League for Democracy, she aimed to establish democracy in Myanmar with the cooperation of all its ethnic groups. Despite her party winning the election in 1990, she was arrested and put under house arrest until 2010, whereupon she resumed her political career. She went on to become the first an incumbent state councillor of the nation. Ronald Coase, 1991's Verge's Riksbank Prize in Economic Sciences in memory of Alfred Nobel, for his discovery and clarification of the significance of transaction costs and property rights for the institutional structure and functioning of the economy. Coase's research was centered on the relationship among economics, law and organization. Two of his landmark papers are The Nature of the Firm and the Problem of Social Cost, which dealt with the concepts of transaction costs and property rights respectively. Mother Teresa, 1979 Nobel Peace Prize, for humanitarian work. After receiving divine calls, Mother Teresa moved to Kolkata, India, and established her sisterhood. Missionaries of Charity, in 1950. Her relentless work included building orphanages, schools, dispensaries, hospices, soup kitchens and mobile clinics. She was declared a saint by the Pope in 2016. Norman Borlaug, 1970 Nobel Peace Prize, for humanitarian work. Known as the father of the Green Revolution, Borlaug developed a high-yielding variety of wheat in the 1940s and 50s. He then took the disease-resistant grain to countries such as India and Pakistan where the food production was not at par with their population growth. Alexander Solzhenitsyn, 1970 Nobel Prize in Literature, for the ethical force with which he has pursued the indispensable traditions of Russian literature. The novelist and historian, who spent years in a Soviet Union labor camp, was an outspoken critic of communism and the violence meted out in the forced camps. His novels, most notably One Day in the Life of Ivan Denisovich, 1962, were a reflection of Soviet society of the time. Martin Luther King Jr. 1964 Nobel Peace Prize, for his non-violent campaign against racism, Adhering to Mahatma Gandhi's principle of philosophy, the leader of the civil rights movement dreamt that all Americans will be treated equally, and not discriminated against for their color. He began his campaign in 1955, which culminated with the famous I Have a Dream speech at the Lincoln Memorial in 1963. He was assassinated by a white supremacist in 1968. Jean-Paul Sartre, 1964 Nobel Prize in Literature, for his work which, rich in ideas and filled with the spirit of freedom and the quest for truth, has exerted a far-reaching influence on our age. One of the leading figures in 20th century Marxism and French philosophy, Sartre's work influenced the disciplines of sociology, critical theory and literary studies. His work being and nothingness remains an important document to understand existentialism. He became the first person to refuse his Nobel Prize on the ground that a writer should not allow himself to be turned into an institution. Francis Crick, James Watson and Morris Wilkins, 1962 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, for their discoveries concerning the molecular structure of nucleic acids and its significance for information transfer in living material. Crick, Left, Watson, Center, and Wilkins discover the molecular structure of DNA and its importance in conveying information in a living organism. Ernest Hemingway, 1954 Nobel Prize in Literature, for his mastery of the art of narrative, most recently demonstrated in The Old Man in the Sea, and for the influence that he has exerted on contemporary style. Known to change the nature of American writing, Hemingway used simple sentences and autobiographical details to explore themes of love, loss, war and wilderness. His short novel The Old Man and the Sea, 1952, tells the story of an aging fisherman and his struggle with a giant marlin. 
Linus Pauling, 1954 Nobel Prize in Chemistry, for his research into the nature of the chemical bond and its application to the elucidation of the structure of complex substances. Pauling won the award for his work on chemical bonds and their role in complex substances. He also shed light on the nature of ionic and covalent bonds. He was also a peace activist and was awarded the 1962 Nobel Peace Prize for his stand against weapons of mass destruction and the nuclear arms race, becoming the only person to be awarded two Nobel Prizes not shared with others. Hermann Joseph Muller, 1946 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, for the discovery of the production of mutations by means of X-ray radiation. Muller's research in the 1920s proved that X-rays can cause mutations in an organism's genetic code. The importance of his research was finally recognized after the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki during World War II. Alexander Fleming, Howard Florey and Ernst Chain, 1945 Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine, for the discovery of penicillin and its curative effect in various infectious diseases. Fleming's, left, accidental discovery of the mold called Penicillium notatum, now called Penicillium chrysogenum, resulted in the creation of penicillin-based antibiotics. The drug had a revolutionary effect on a series of diseases including tuberculosis, gangrene and syphilis. Chain, right, and Flory succeeded in producing a pure form of penicillin that could be used pharmaceutically. Otto Hahn, 1944 Nobel Prize in Chemistry, for his discovery of the fission of heavy nuclei. Regarded as the father of nuclear chemistry, Hahn's work was responsible for the creation of the process to create electricity, thus making it possible to generate power using nuclear energy. Enrico Fermi, 1938 Nobel Prize in Physics, for his demonstrations of the existence of new radioactive elements produced by neutron irradiation, and for his related discovery of nuclear reactions brought about by slow neutrons. Hailed as the father of the nuclear power, Fermi was responsible for the creation of the first superficial self-sustaining nuclear chain reaction. In 1932, Fermi discovered that slowing of neutrons increases their interaction rate with the nuclei and eventually paved the way for discovery of many unknown radioactive isotopes. Erwin Schrödinger and Paul Dirac, 1933 Nobel Prize in Physics, for the discovery of new productive forms of atomic theory. Dirac contributed to the field of quantum mechanics and formulated the Dirac equation that explained the behavioral patterns of electrons and foretold the presence of antimatter. Schrodinger's, pictured, research in quantum physics led to the wave equation that accurately calculated the energy levels of electrons in atoms. Werner Heisenberg, 1932 Nobel Prize in Physics for the creation of quantum mechanics, the application of which has, inter alia, led to the discovery of the allotropic forms of hydrogen. The theoretical physicist laid the foundation of quantum mechanics by formulating rules regarding the behavior of subatomic particles. Heisenberg proposed the uncertainty principle in 1927, stating that the position and the velocity of an object cannot both be measured exactly, at the same time, even in theory. Albert Einstein, 1921 Nobel Prize in Physics, for his services to theoretical physics, and especially for his discovery of the law of the photoelectric effect. The brain behind the theory of relativity, Einstein's discovery established the fact that light is made up of particles, which in turn led to several future inventions such as television and motion pictures. Max Planck, 1918 Nobel Prize in Physics, in recognition of the services he rendered to the advancement of physics by his discovery of energy quanta. In 1900, Planck solved the problem of emission of radiation by introducing the theory of quanta, which are discrete bundles in which radiation and other forms of energy occur, and that radiation consists of quanta with specific energies determined by a new fundamental constant, thereafter called Planck's constant. His discovery is regarded as the birth of quantum physics today. Robert Koch, 1905 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, for his investigations and discoveries in relation to tuberculosis. Celebrated as the father of modern bacteriology, 
Koch conducted a series of important studies on illnesses caused by a microorganism and eventually discovered the TB bacterium in 1882. Apart from that, he also investigated anthrax disease and bacteria that causes cholera and formulated the famous Koch's postulate. Ivan Pavlov 1904 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, in recognition of his work on the physiology of digestion, through which knowledge on vital aspects of the subject has been transformed and enlarged. The first Russian Nobel laureate, Pavlov is known for his work in classical conditioning. He conducted a series of experiments on a dog and deduced that humans, like dogs, are conditioned to respond in a certain way to various stimuli. Hence the phrase, Pavlov's dog was born. Antoine Henri Becquerel, Marie Curie and Pierre Curie, 1903 Nobel Prize in Physics, won half a word to Becquerel in recognition of the extraordinary services he has rendered by his discovery of spontaneous radioactivity and one half jointly to the Curies in recognition of the extraordinary services they have rendered by their joint researches on the radiation phenomena discovered by Professor Henri Becquerel. Curie, along with her husband Pierre Curie, Center, and Henry Becquerel, were awarded for their joint research on the phenomenon of radiation and for the development of the theory of radioactivity, a phrase coined by her. She became the first woman to be awarded a Nobel Prize, her second was awarded in 1911 for chemistry, 